Welcome to Rick's Corner, brought to you by Old School Labs, the brand I trust and the only one I put my name to. Use my code, Grayson12, on the link below. On with the show. And I'm here to tell you there's a tip of the week that I want you to follow and maybe you'll get good results from it. Now, let's talk about cardio. Everybody says they're doing cardio. I do an hour here, an hour there. I increase my cardio. I burn more body fat. Well, it's probably true that you will get some results out of that. But if you look back at all of us guys back in the 70s down at Gold's Gym, Arnold, Draper, myself, Franco, Zane, we didn't have cardio. We didn't have cardio machines. There were no Stairmasters. There were no treadmills. There were no life cycles. There was no cardio. Basically, what we would do after the workout is run across the street down to the ocean, which was only two blocks away, and maybe take a run in between piers, just a slow jog. Didn't last more than 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops, but that wasn't all the time. That was just once in a while. Our lean bodies came from watching our diet. We really eliminated the carbs. Now people say, how do you eliminate carbs and get a good workout? How do you get rid of that? Well, we increase the fats. We ate avocados, we ate, we ate yolks and fats that would go in and burn as energy, and we maybe a minimum of 200 grams of protein a day. Meals consisted of cheese omelets, hamburger patties with cheese on them, cottage cheese as the side, because cottage cheese is a good source of whey protein, even though it's a little high in sodium. Protein drinks weren't really around because there wasn't really a good protein back in those days until Real Blair came out with Blair's protein, which was a really good one. Uh, very, very expensive, but you were... If you were one of his people that, that uh, modeled his products, you got free protein and free supplements, which was nice. And I was one of those, and so was Arnold and everybody else. But cardio did not exist. We were stay, still able to get ripped. Now, I see people in the gym today doing cardio. They're doing an hour on the treadmill. They're back in the afternoon doing another hour. Now, these are the same people I've seen for the past 10, 15, 20 years. There's not one change in their bodies. Not one. They look exactly the same. What happens is they either don't eat properly or they don't eat at all. And then you end up burning up muscle and, and the fat still stays around the muscle. And what happens, it creates a vicious cycle thinking that, well, gee, if I'm not losing body fat by doing the cardio, I need to do more. Well, doing more only burns up more muscle and then you get look even fatter. And there's a term we used years ago for bodybuilders called skinny and fat. For example, at 220 pounds, I could be ripped. I go down to 212, I could be skinny and fat because the shape is different, the diet's different. And it's not due to the cardio, it's due to the eating. Now, cardio alone, meh, it'll burn some calories. Sure it will. Will it rip you up? Only if you're dieting with it. Only if you're taking the proper supplements and you're really watching your diet tight. That will get you over the edge to rip more body fat off your body. But you gotta be tight on the diet too because if you're not, you're not gonna lose the body fat. This is just a, a known thing. So if you look back in the 70s and all of us guys back in the day, we watched our diets tight. We didn't have any carbs until Sunday. That was the junk day. Monday through Saturday, strict, strict high protein and fats. And I mean this for, for a fact because even my mother would try to invite me to dinner and say, oh, I made you this and I made you that. It was non-fat, it's not this. And I said, mom, I can't eat like that. You don't understand. If I take some pasta, if I take some rice or bread, it's defeated my whole purpose for that week. And so I stayed on it. Then I realized later, in life, I talked to Zabel Kazuski, who had one of the best abs in the world, and I said to him, how do I get around this, you know, watching the carbs during the week and, you know, being hungry for something? He says, look, Rick, he says, you, you start your diet on Monday. Let's just say Wednesday rolls around. You want to have a little bit of something. You can do that, but don't go crazy with it. Just take a little bit on a Wednesday. Back on Thursday and Friday, you're back on your diet again. Saturday, you kind of like, yeah, you can deviate a little bit. And then Sunday's your junk day. The theory was that if you ate all of your carbs and all of your junk on Sunday, there's no way it's going to lay in your body. It's going to go right through you once. You can't possibly digest it all in one sitting or one day. So therefore, it goes through you. Monday, you're a little bit bloated, and Tuesday, you're back on track. So anyway, that's my tip for you on cardio. I hope you'll use it. If you have any questions, you can always contact me at rickdrayson.com. And be sure to go to my, my show, rickscorner.com and rickdrayson.com, my website. I think you'll really enjoy it. And as all of you know, I designed the Gold's Gym logo in 1973. 
I now offer it on my website as a piece of art for $75, autographed to you and signed by me that you can frame and put on your wall as a piece of bodybuilding history. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time on Rick's Tip. It's RickDrayson.com. He is the equalizer, baby. See you next time.